then based on supply schedule is supply curve. Normally, we take supply curve as upward sloping. Why do we take like this? There is a long theory behind it. So we will not go into the question of why does it slope upwards? Just out of context, let me tell you, there is a short run period which you have discussed in cost and a long run period. In microeconomics, in the short period, supply curve is always taken upward sloping. But in the long period, any shape of supply curve is possible. It may be upward sloping, it may be downward sloping, it may be parallel to the x-axis. Why so? It's not a part of your curriculum. This you are going to study in the university under the heading long run supply curve. Here we are taken as given that we are talking short run because we are talking short run cost only. So if we take only short run cost, then supply curve is taken as upward sloping. Why? This is not a part of the curriculum. It only means higher the price. If price rises, supply rises. If price falls, supply falls. So there is a direct relation between price and supply of an individual producer, let us say. Of course, we show quantity on this axis and price on this axis. Now, suppose there are, once again, we assume that there are only two producers. Let us say this is A, then there is another producer, B. Then market supply curve will be simply horizontal sum. Horizontal ka matlab, yahaan se jodna shuru karenge. I draw a line, let us say P. At this price, supply by A is Q1 and supply by B is Q2. If I add this, P इसमें मैं अगर P के one add कर दूं तो roughly मैं यहाँ पर आ जाता हूँ one two three मैं यहाँ पर आ जाता हूँ I get a point अब अगर मान लीजिए मैं एक point और ले लूँ इसमें अगर मैं ये add कर दूँ which is roughly suppose this suppose I'm taking we require only two points to draw a straight line. Joining these points in a straight line, we get market supply curve. Market supply curve, which is nothing but sum of SA plus SB. So if you get a question on derive market supply curve, then you start with the assumption, suppose there are only two producers and the supply curves of the two producers are SA and SP. Then you say by joining horizontally, by joining horizontally, give the description of a step. This is supply by 2. I add supply PQ1 to PQ2. This will give me supply by both. And at this point, Supply is Q1 plus Q2. At this point also, supply is Q1 plus Q2. This is market supply curve. Now, after this, having learnt a few concepts, what is supply, 
what are the factors determining supply, what is supply schedule, what is market supply, we come to another very important concept and that is change, I am writing in brief, supply and change in quantity supplied. Change in supply and change in quantity supplied. You have learned this concept in demand also. Remember, change in demand and change in quantity demanded. Concept is nearly the same, except that here we are talking about